Cinderella. Not all stepmothers are wicked, but dear, oh dear, Cinderella's was very, very bad. From morning till night, she made Cinderella cook and carry, clean and scrub. Cinderella even had to look after her horrible stepsisters. Every day, her stepmother would screech. Hurry up, you wretched girl. I want my lunch and I want it now. At night, Cinderella had to sleep on the floor by the fire among the cinders and ashes. Then one morning, an invitation arrived. His Royal Highness, Prince Charming, invites the ladies of the house to his royal ball. Of course, Cinderella can't go, sneered her stepmother. She's just a servant. On the night of the ball, Cinderella stood alone in the kitchen, tears sliding down her cheeks. I want to go to the ball, she wept. And so you shall, said a musical voice. Don't be afraid, I'm your fairy godmother. Really? Trudy, gasped Cinderella. You have my fairy promise, said her godmother. But first I need a pumpkin. The fairy tapped it with her wand and the pumpkin rose up growing bigger and bigger, bigger and rounder, then bang! A golden carriage to whisk you to the ball, smiled the fairy godmother. Spell followed magical spell. Six white mice became six proud horses tossing their silky manes. A fat rat turned into a whiskery coachman. Six lizards were transformed into footmen dressed in glittering green. Last of all came a ball gown golden yellow and laced with flowers. Thank you, said Cinderella. On her feet were a pair of glass slippers, the prettiest she'd ever seen. Just remember, said her fairy godmother, you must leave before the clock strikes midnight, for the magic will start to fade. At the royal palace, Cinderella swept into the splendid ballroom, Will you dance with me? asked the prince. As they twirled and spun, a whisper followed them around the room. Who is that beautiful girl? Who is that beautiful girl? She must be a princess, moaned Cinderella's stepsister. But I'm sure the prince would rather dance with me. Cinderella wished the dance could last forever, but all too soon, the clock struck midnight. I must go, she cried. As she dashed down the palace steps, her dress turned back to rags, her carriage was a pumpkin and her coachman was a rat. The prince ran after her. All that was left was a glass slipper sparkling on the steps. Cinderella ran home beneath the starry sky. She kept her adventurous secret and that night she slept with a smile on her lips. The prince longed to find the mystery girl who had danced herself into his dreams. He searched the land with the glass slipper declaring, I'll marry the girl who fits this shoe. At last he came to Cinderella's house. It will fit, screeched her stepsisters, snatching the shoe. They squeezed and squashed and squirmed, then screamed. No matter what they did, they couldn't get the shoe to fit. May I try it on, asked Cinderella, coming quietly into the room. No, snapped her stepmother. But it was too late. Cinderella had put on the shoe and it was a perfect fit. 
The room sparkled with stars. Cinderella's ragged claws turned to gold. She was dressed in her ball gown once more. Her stepmother looked on aghast. At last, cried the prince, I have found you. They were married the very next day. Everyone was invited to the wedding, the stepmother and her horrible daughters too. Cinderella had such a kind heart, she forgave her family and she and the prince lived happily ever after.